A new satellite is launching into space today, giving meteorologists a new tool to help with their forecast. Yeah, meteorologist Haley Wilhite joins us to explain the significance of this launch. Yeah, this is a great day for meteorologists, space weather meteorologists, as we're going to be launching a new GOES satellite. This is going to be GOES U, and launch window opens at about 4:15, uh, or excuse me, 4:16 p.m. Central Time. It's launching from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, but there's a two-hour window, so within that window, uh, we're going to try to launch. But there are keeping an eye out for thunderstorm chances down there. But either way, we're going to be launching this new satellite, uh, GOES U. It's going to be replacing GOES 16. There's four satellites we've been launching over the past several years since 2000, 2016 and this is going to be eventually replacing GOES 16 and uh, becoming GOES 19. But there's a few features of the satellite that are really great uh, and that other satellites do not have. So kind of an advanced baseline imager that's going to provide high detail satellite images uh, of the Earth, but also to uh, geostationary lightning mapper, real time 24 seven lightning data. We'll be able to see and figure out uh, where lightning is striking, but also to uh, space and sun monitoring. We'll be able to watch the sun and its solar flares and patterns, and that's going to try to help us better understand Aurora Borealis's or, you know, those northern lights that we saw back in May here in Kansas. So plenty of benefits coming from this satellite. It's going to help with our forecasting methods, our model predictions, but also to uh, tra helping track hurricanes, giving us a little bit more early lead time uh, for severe thunderstorms, tornadoes. The list goes on. These are great tools uh, for us to use when, it, when we actually really need them. Again, severe weather, hurricanes, tornadoes, you name it, even just uh, mundane uh, weather phenomena such as fog or uh, just anything of the sort. So this is going to be really cool to see. Hopefully we'll get this launch this afternoon. Be sure to check that out on the NASA website later this evening.